today we will uh, try to show a case uh, which uh, has a venous insufficiency in the left leg uh, and we will use the Turkish glue when I look in this case. Intercephalous vein, as we see here, it's very dilated and big due to the venous insufficiency at the point of intercephalous femoral junction, greater than two seconds. And I am following it through the proximal point until the draining through the femoral vein, aiming the saponous vein here. We are trying to, as all we see here, we just above the saponous vein. I'm trying to get inside. As see here, there is blood coming out, and then we are taking the guide wire and send it inside. It should be so soft, not to go to other places, just to go through the old line. And then we are checking the guide wire, whether inside or not. We see it's inside. And also we are giving some saline inside to check the place. Can you please give, yeah, a little bit saline? Yeah. This is the good point. Okay, we're gonna anchor up. And then we're gonna use the gun for injection. Gonna help us uh, gives the injection in a stable amount of point with the Ciano Arculat and two shots uh, through the saponofemoral junction without any movement and then we will take it out through the distal. Before that, okay, before that <coughs> we will compress the femoral wave. My count will help me. Okay, compress the femoral wave, it's good. Two shots without movement to the proximal point, and slowly we are taking out. We are performing here for one minute to to have the agent uh, make it greater contact with the vein wall. There is no glue inside the below the knee, but as we see here, upper the knee, the second swing is totally compressed and the procedure is successful for the patient. Then after the operation, we are using the compression bandage uh, starting from the ankle uh, through the upper saponofemoral junction place and then we are ending the surgery. Thank you very much.